We're here again with Darko Namoski regarding Form 5471. Thanks for uh, being with us again regarding Form 5471, Darko. Pleasure here. And uh, just in terms of background, again, can you just uh, tell our viewers a little bit about yourself? Of course, yeah. Thanks for allowing me to do this again. Uh, again, my name is Dr. Namoski. I work at Wilkin and Gutman Plan. I'm an international tax manager there, and we um, I, I deal a lot with our inbound and outbound clients, um, working with their um, compliance needs and planning strategies. So we've had a lot of clients over the years that have not filed Form 5471. So uh, briefly, can you advise our viewers what are the penalties for failure to file? So interestingly enough, we, we see the same issues as well. Uh, this seems like it's a big area of non-compliance for a lot of our taxpayers as well. And um, what the IRS has done is, is they issue automatic $10,000 penalties for any foreign form that is not included or is incomplete. So for instance, if you have three uh, 54-7s you need to file in a given year, that's a $30,000 penalty. Now that number has been indexed for inflation, so it's not 11,000 something, but you get the picture. If the next year you also don't file another three 54 ones, then you get into a 60,000 plus dollar penalty. So it's a per form per year penalty. The, and it, 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 it adds up quite quick. Is there a willful, non-willful part of this? Like, uh, so, go ahead, sorry, I, I'm sorry, Robbie. There is, I believe there's some areas whenever you are in non-compliance that you can come into compliance with the IRS before they contact you. But Parag, this is something that you deal with on a daily basis. So maybe you can tell us more about it. Yeah, sure. Thanks for that opportunity. The, um, we do three programs for uh, clients that don't file their Form 5471s. We have someone like you prepare the Form 5471, but then we take that Form 5471 and we package, package it through the appropriate door at the IRS. Um, the easiest door, in my opinion, is the Delinquent International Information Return Submission Procedure Program. There's zero penalty. You basically just be able to have to be able to qualify, and generally that means that you have to have reported all the income and tax due, um, which is sometimes happens for a client. For example, if there's no tax due with the Form 5471, then that might be an option. Um, the next uh, program is called the Streamlined Domestic Offshore Procedure Program. Um, and that program requires the Form 5471s, the tax uh, on the uh, any due plus interest, and there's a penalty of 5% of the highest financial account balance on either the FBAR and the 8938, and does require a non-willful demonstration uh, where you legally have to explain the circumstances on why you failed to file these forms and generally our uh, success rate is quite high. Uh, the IRS has been accepting these uh, filings and just collecting the penalty and the tax and uh, it's a good way to clean up any non-compliance. Uh, for our most uh, difficult and complex cases, we have what's called the Voluntary Disclosure Program, which was just announced over the past year or two and that is a much higher penalty. Uh, generally speaking, it's a 50% uh, penalty. Uh, you don't need to explain any type of willful, non-willfulness uh, there, uh, but the penalty is very high. Uh, but again, uh, these are all solutions um, for being able to cure non-compliance. They all work. Uh, they all have uh, been very successful for our clients, and I think it's a great way to fix a problem uh, such as a, you know, a Form 5471 non-filing uh, non issue. So Darko, thanks again for uh, joining us today and helping us. Um, if anyone wanted to contact you, how do they do that? Sure. Um, thanks again, Parag. My pleasure. Uh, and I really enjoy um, our conversations on this platform here. Um, if anybody wants to shoot me a quick email and have, or have a question about anything, um, you can find my uh, email on our website at uh, www.wgcpa.com. Uh, my profile is on there, um, and there's probably a link um, to shoot me an email and contact me directly. Thanks again for the opportunity to speak with you and discussing Form 5471. Pleasure. Thanks again.